Thank you and welcome. Thank you for joining us today. We are glad that you are joining us from wherever you are. You can invite your friends, uh, invite your colleagues just to join in. Uh, my name is Robert Simiu uh, from Home Africa. I'm the projects manager at Home Africa. Today I'd like to enlighten us about a topic, step-by-step uh, -step property acquisition in Kenya. And I'm going to talk about uh, five key major areas which I have highlighted the gut, the pinch, the sting, the flea, and the wheel. So I'd like to give you just a moment as you invite your friends uh, just to tune in and just to be together with us. But feel free uh, to comment uh, maybe on the chat there so that we can be able to uh, move together. So I'll begin by uh, highlighting a few things. Land is a very emotive uh, factor in Kenya. Each and every one of us, we have uh, a desire to own property in Kenya. This desire has driven many into losses. This desire has driven many families and many people are just to uh, lose because of the desire to own land. Now, why don't we take a moment and pause and just get to understand, by the way, how do I acquire this property? What do I need to look at? How do I need to acquire this property? That's why I've called it the cut. Number one is that there are a few critical areas. There are a few critical uh, parts that I'd like us to look into. And just continue uh, joining uh, so that we can be together. Number one is that, which I've called the cut. Number one, familiarize yourself with the different types of property and different types of land. Many of us, we may not be aware that land in Kenya has different kind of classifications. We have the one that I call greenfield land. This is what we call virgin land. This is what we call land that has never been tilled. It's called greenfield land. So this particular piece of land, uh, when you are going to acquire it, the features that are presented on this particular land are very much different with the features that you will look at uh, the brownfield land. Brownfield land, this simply means that land that was previously developed and now maybe uh, there were structures on it, uh, somebody was settling there, and now maybe it has been demolished or they already have some structures in. So how you approach these two particular uh, aspects is very, very critical. So I would like us to just uh, go down the drain and just understand if I'm getting a greenfield land, what are some of the things that I need to look into? Greenfield land will enable you to be able to, uh, in terms of you want the land for agricultural purposes, you want the land to develop, do you want the land, uh, whatever it is that you want to do with the land, greenfield land will uh, uh, propose an opportunity uh, that you want to look into there. People, if any land that you go to and you find maybe there were structures that existed the, uh, previously, and now you want to purchase this particular piece of land, that should give you a question as to why were these structures demolished in the first place? Did we have boundaries? Did we have issues? I know because of our desire and the lust to be able to get land, most of us will be deceived to get in and just uh, uh, assume uh, things and maybe get into and acquire the land. I want to move on to the second uh, item that I've called the pinch. The pinch, uh, this is what is going to pain you most. This is what is going to uh, push you to another level. The pinch helps you to establish. After I have seen that this is greenfield land, this is brownfield land, I need to look at what are the permissions that come with this particular property. Many of the people have struggled uh, to acquire this, uh, to, uh, to develop their piece of land because of the issues that have come out, because of the circumstances that they have been able to get. I want to challenge you and tell you that when you are acquiring this piece of land, you must first of all put in consideration what are you going to do with this land in the near future. Most of the pieces of land, you find that maybe the government has gazetted or outlined zoned a certain area, maybe as a commercial area, 
But maybe because you just need a piece of land and maybe it's being sold cheaply, you find that maybe uh, you go in, you invest, when you want to put up your house, the government, uh, when you go to look for approvals at the county, they tell you now you cannot build this particular property here because of A, B, and C. I am assuming you took a loan to purchase this particular piece of land. That is going to really pain you. That's why I've called it a pitch. It's really going to pain you. So ensure that you look at the planning regulations. Most of the titles that we are getting, they always come with special conditions. Most of the titles in Kenya, they come with special conditions. And maybe in our next episode, I'll be able to show you what are the features on a title that you need to look at so that uh, you, you are aware, so that as you progress, you know how you're going to approach uh, that particular acquisition. I want to move on to the next uh, uh, point that I want to just uh, ensure that we are moving together as you invite your friends. The steam. A steam, all of us know, a steam is something that uh, I will take some time, but it will sting you, but it will pain you after a short period of time. If you are stung by a bee, at the moment the bee is stinging you, you may not uh, really feel the pain, but after you feel, after it has left, that's when you feel the pain. This comes in after you have bought the land, after you have bought the property. You now begin to feel the pinch and the, uh, the stings of how you lost your money, how things came into. So I want to help you so that uh, you are able to find your way into uh, this particular murky waters. I want to challenge you, don't always be in any rush. We are not going anywhere. We are here. That land, you found it there, and land is not moving. It doesn't have legs. So please, if it is your piece of land, take time. I can assure you, you will always arrive to the right place. This is the place that I always invite people. It may be expensive for you to engage a consultant. It may be expensive for you to go to a reputable institution to help you purchase this piece of land. At that point, that land might look like it is expensive, but it's going to save you a whole lot of problems, simply because when you buy land, maybe from people who are pre-qualified, they are regulated, they have uh, uh, ways and means of how they can be able to work around their pieces of land, they are going to save you a lot of cost. If you go maybe directly to a land owner, Maybe a property that's going to for six million, maybe the landowner might sell you at maybe five point five million. But this five hundred thousand you think you are saving, it is going to cost you because maybe at that time there will be many things that will arise because you didn't do your proper due diligence. So the sting enables you to do proper due diligence of this property. That's why you need to visit uh, professionals like Home Africa here, we are here. We can be able to guide you on the best way. And most of the pieces of land, especially uh, for companies like Home Africa, will find that they have done proper research and proper due diligence because of the regulation. So I'd like to challenge you at this particular point, don't allow yourself to be pained later. Don't allow yourself to get into a place uh, now you are regretting because you already made that decision, you paid already that deposit. The steam is going to be with you for some time. It will not leave you. So I challenge you that always ensure that you do the right due diligence. Then, still on the due diligence, ensure that that property that you are getting is in a place where maybe you would want to develop later. So location is very key in terms of uh, the journey of getting a property. So I challenge you to keep following and keep uh, just uh, continue to do the right thing by looking at the right people to guide you to the right process. I want to move on to the second last point that I've called the flea. I don't know if uh, you've heard about the story of a flea. A flea, when it wants to bite you, it will take some time. It will get into your cloth and slowly continue to crawl and slowly move at some point, it will sting you. Maybe this, this, this particular flea touched you long time ago, uh, entered into you long time ago, but it will going to bite you after like five years. This is what I'm calling about property. When you have bought a property, and now you didn't do your proper due diligence. You didn't have people to guide you. 
at the point of you now going into investing, going into now you want to build, maybe after one year, two, three years, four years, now you find that maybe you have issues of boundary. And I'm talking about this because many of people have issues with boundaries with their friends, their neighbors, because of this thing called the flea. They did not own a qualified surveyor to enable them and help them establish the right boundaries, the right limitations and the right beacon. So do not be in a hurry again. My bottom line is do not be in a hurry. Allow yourself, engage professionals, get a qualified surveyor, let them show you the beacons. Don't be shown that like it is there. The beacon used to be there and there and there. Go and stand on that beacon yourself. As you buy that property, you're not going to go to a loss. I want to finish by calling it the wheel. The wheel will enable you now to turn around, to turn your venture into profit, to turn your land into a sustainable product, into something that is going to help you. Now, if you are going to do your right due diligence, the right agent is going to be inevitable. The right person is going to be inevitable. He is going to help you actualize the dream that you have. Don't allow yourself to be cornered. Don't allow yourself to be uh, lured into uh, offers that may not be good for you. So I want to challenge you that as this wheel is beginning to turn, for you to realize the value in your investment, make sure you engage the right people. That is why maybe companies like Home Africa, we are here to tell you, we have proper properties. We have done uh, proper searches on properties. And we have properties across uh, the 47 counties. When you go to Nanyuki, you'll find us there in Laikipia. When you go to uh, uh, Nakuru, you'll find us there. When you go to uh, Kisumu, you'll find us there. You go to the coast, you'll find us there. So I'd like to challenge you. Engage Home Africa and let them be the people who are going to drive uh, your a business who are going to drive you to the next goal that you are going to do and that you are going to engage. See you next time. Robert is my name. Don't for, don't forget uh, to engage us and just to call us at the numbers that are going to be provided on the screen. Blessings.